the donkey of the day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yeah, it's donkey of the day for Wednesday, March 8th. Goes to all you fools who have something negative to say about today being day without a woman day, okay? I've been watching social media, and I saw... At Shop Brown Sugar, y'all can go slander him. Uh, he said, pointless cause. This will not make a lasting impact because it doesn't address the root cause of the issues we face in America. Uh, at Surge NYC 13, you can go slander him too. Uh, he says, somebody else, he said, why don't take this march to Iran? Women in America have very equal rights and statistics prove so. Uh, at Surge NYC 13, I'm repeating that one. Uh, at Cash Cato says we should do a day without men and see which day has a bigger effect. At Tida Golden Child says women will not stop hoeing today be- because they live for that. Look, here's the what? thing. Here's the thing, man. If you don't have any other solution, shut the hell up. Okay, I can't stand people who sit around and discuss problems all day but don't present any solutions. These young ladies have put together a plan. Okay, they are presenting a solution. What are you doing except complaining? The Dalai Lama once said, if there is no solution to the problem, then don't waste time worrying about it. If there is a solution to the problem, then don't waste time worrying about it. If these young ladies feel like they have a solution to the problems that we are facing in society, why are y'all worried about it? Let the young ladies do their thing. I don't care about having a day without men. This isn't a competition. Let's have a day without men and see what affects the world more. My man, who gives a damn about that kind of pettiness? Okay? Since our celebrity in chief has been president, honestly, the people I've seen take charge and put actual plans together have been women. Okay? All the calls to action I've seen to help us progress lately have been women. You know, could it be that maybe some men or even some women who have something negative to say about, you know, the Women's March or today's day without women? Maybe, just maybe, you all are just jealous because you didn't come up with the ideas. Look, I learned a long time ago you can get a lot more accomplished when you stop worrying about who gets the credit for it. Okay, let the women do their thing. And if you aren't totally understanding what the Day Without Women March, well, not March, but what the Day Without Women is about, let's throw the Tamika D. Mallory for this message, please. If I see that white folks are concerned, then people of color need to be terrified. And what we're seeing right now, particularly in the Women's March, is that there are a lot of white women and white people who are saying what is happening with our country is very dangerous. And we know that the most marginalized communities will, in fact, be impacted first. So on March 8th, we on International Women's Day. Women across the world are being asked to stay home, no paid labor or unpaid labor because we do a lot of things that we're not paid for. And to specifically refrain from purchasing uh, products and items from big box stores, from, you know, corporations and, and, uh, and, and try to support small businesses and local businesses. And lastly, we're asking folks to wear the color red. So even if you have to go to work, you can wear red in solidarity. And still, even if you have to go to work, Pack your lunch. Figure out ways not to spend money um, unless you are supporting, again, a small business. Dropping the clues bombs for the day without women, damn it. Absolutely. It's the solution, okay? Fear is the lack of faith in one's ability to create powerful solutions. These women aren't scared. Okay, they are creating solutions, and I salute them and support them because problems are meant to be solved. But unfortunately, a lot of people choose to complain, worry, and cry about problems instead of presenting solutions. So I want to tell all of you complaining, worrying, and crying about the Women's Day off to uh, suck my D, uh, kiss my ass, and find a way to support the day. Because if you're not trying to be part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Please give everyone who has something negative to say about the day without women the biggest hee-haw, please. And by the way, if you don't think certain things are meant to happen, uh, the Statue of Liberty had a power power failure or something this morning, mm-hmm. and it went dark. Yeah, it did. <laughs> okay, so even the Statue of Liberty is taking the day off. Well, you have it. All, All right. right, she's well, taking the Woman's Day off. The Breakfast Club. <laughs>